Hello guys! Before I start the video, I just want to say one thing. I was going to make a short and sweet unlock video, but I ended up having so much fun that I recorded a lot more than that, so I had to split the video into two parts. That's why the first part will end a little abruptly, because I didn't anticipate that I would have to split the video, but I hope that's still okay with you guys. That's all I wanted to say, so without further ado, let's start the video. Enjoy! Hello everyone, Inga Lil Bunny Moon here. As you can see, I have finally received the quest to unlock Epona. And since I've been waiting so long to unlock this area, I figured why not do a video about it. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, I, yeah, I got the quest from Herman. Uh, okay, hi Inga Lil, come to Jorvik Stables as fast as you can. Exciting stuff has happened. I can't say more than that right now. You never know who might be reading this. See you soon, Herman. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I kind of know what this is already, but let's go. And I hope I'm in time for the boat. No, if that's my boat, I will be kind of sad. Okay, there are fairies. Not boats, really, but who cares? Pretty much. Oh, okay, it's it's the wrong one. So let's just wait. Cue some elevator music, I guess. Okay, finally! I'm almost at his house. I'm so excited for this, like I said in the beginning. I've been waiting for so long. I think I'm mostly excited for the horses, if I'm gonna be honest. So I spotted so many cute horses in like New Hill Crest, Crescent Moon Village. So. Hello Herman, my boy. It worked! You got my text! Of course it did. Hi Ingalu, great that you could make it here so quickly. Uh, yeah, define quickly. I've got wonderful news. Remember the report from Miss Drake that you gave me before? Exactly, the one she asked you to put in the mail, but that you gave to me instead. I've read it all, more times than I can count. Yes, yeah, it took like a month! I've been working for like a month! You, God, you could have written a book by now. Hang on, let me just calm down. One shouldn't stress when there are important things to talk about. I put some water on to boil for tea earlier. A cup of tea is just a thing for discussing things as important as this. Yeah, I agree, I agree. I think the water is boiling. Could you take it off the heating a little? I get my thoughts together in the meantime. Okay, this is a uh, classic star stable difficult <laughs> quest. Okay, I did it. Thanks, Ingalil. Now we just need to let the water cool down a bit and then we can make ourselves a nice cup of tea. Actually, I never let my tea cool down when I drink tea. Right, as I was saying, I read Miss Drake's report, the one you gave me earlier, and if I'm completely honest, I don't actually understand very much of it. Okay, you see, nothing's written in plain language, quotes here, references to other documents there, and vague concepts everywhere. But what is clear is that something big and unbelievably dangerous is happening. Blah, blah, blah. Oh god, there are references to something called Operation Grim Harvest. There are spreadsheets with entries like Industrial Harvest Equipment, Aggressive Damage Management, what? And Demolition Estimates for a City the Size of Jarlaheim. I also found forms that mention hiring heavily equipped external security consultants. Okay, it just goes on and on. I'm sure you agree, Ingalil, that it sounds like GED are planning something truly terrible. The thing is, there's nothing that even comes close to evidence in the report, simply nothing that GED's armies of lawyers can't explain right away or interpret as something completely legal. I'm sorry, in a little, but GED are good, too good. There's nothing in this report I can use to stop them. Don't look so sad, though, in a little. Haha! <laughs> yes, yeah, I look, I look really sad. Thank you. Just because I don't understand the report doesn't mean that it can't be used by someone else. I've sent copies to friends around your week and now I have had a reply from just the person I was hoping for. This is why I'm so happy. Jorwick's leading warrior in the fight against GED has been in touch. The 
person I'm talking with is the leader of CHILL, okay? A secret organization who are doing all they can to throw nails in the road, road for GEV. I've never met her, I don't know what she looks like, and I don't know where she lives, I only know her name. I'm talking about the legendary Mrs. X, have you heard of her? N no. Let me explain. A few days ago, a letter arrived from Mrs. X. She wrote that GED's report confirmed suspicions of what GED are up to in the Harvest Counties. She didn't want to say anything more in the letter, safety first, as she wrote. But if I go there to see her, she promised to tell me more. After that, she certainly will be able to stop GED for good, okay? This could be exactly the kind of good news we needed, Inga Lil. I must see her as soon as possible. She did, however, have two demands. I need to go to the meeting place alone. And I'm absolutely not allowed to tell anyone where we're meeting. Not even you, Inga Lil. The problem now is getting there because the meeting place is in Epona. Yeah! Do you know where that is? Yes, I do! <laughs> exactly, it's the area on the other side of the fence near Greedale. Unfortunately, there's only one way there and it goes through Harold Stormheart's land. The gates there have been locked for years and I've got no idea how I get past. Harold is a very old friend of mine and I'm sure he'd need he'd help us in every way possible. But the thing is I can't talk to him if I can't get through those gates. Or well, of course, I mean we. I can't do this by myself, I need help. It will be a dangerous journey, certainly not something an old fellow like me can handle alone. But, but I'm sure a little girl can help you, Herman. So I suppose my question is, will you come with me to Pona in a little? Great, great news. I knew I could count on you. I did promise Mrs. X that I wouldn't say a word to anyone about the meeting place, but we'll travel together right up until we get close, okay? Super, I've been working on an idea and I'll tell you about it. But surely the tea is ready by now. Could you fetch us both a cup? <sighs> of course, Herman, of course. I, I really like how you can buy the food for one star coin. It's kind of funny. Thanks for the teeing, Alil. Right, let's talk about my idea. Listen up. There's a secret pathway crossing the Grey Dew Mountains. I almost said something completely different. Not a lot of people know about it, but it's been used by soldiers, refugees, and smugglers all throughout history. If I just knew where it was, we'd be able to use it to get ourselves over to Epona. What do you think about that planning a little? You wonder how we'll find out where it is? I don't suppose it will be very easy, but with a little help from our friends, I'm sure it will work out. You see, two of the families around here know the secrets of this hidden pathway. We need their help, and if there's anyone who can get them to help us out, it's you. And you'll sure. I'll start making preparations for a trip and try to get a hold of all the information I can find about Epona. In the meantime, you need to find out where exactly the secret pathway over the Grey Dew Mountains is. Sounds like a plan. Oh god, I'm so bad at finding things in this game. The Goldspur family are one of the two families who guard the secrets of the hidden path over the Grey Dew Mountains. They know where it starts, and without knowing that, we're really not going to get very far. Talk to Jacob. Goldspur and explain the situation to him. He might be a little suspicious, but if he feels that he can trust you, I'm sure he will tell you where it starts. Sure. Mm. The secret path over the Gweidu Mountains isn't just hard to find, it's also full of traps. If you don't know how to get past the traps, then it's impossible to get to the end of the path. Well, impossible to get to the end of the path alive at least. Okay, so I can't get over, I can't get to the end of the path, but I, I, it's more likely that I will be dead when I finish it. The Jarlison family have been guarding the secrets of the path's traps for generations. Jesus, so, so dangerous! If you can get Doith Jarlison to understand why it's so important for you to use the path, then I'm sure she'll tell you about the traps. Okay, good luck. Jeez! Like, uh... I'm supposed to be a young girl and her horse, and this, <laughs> this sounds really dangerous if these traps could actually kill me. But we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so it's Paddock Island. I haven't even done any dailies in this island for quite a few days. Oh, oh, okay. 
Hi there, Ingalu. How can I help you on this beautiful day? You want to know how to avoid the traps along the secret path over the Grey Doom Mountains? Uh, that's one of our family's oldest and most closely guarded secrets. Are you sure I can trust you not to tell- God, I've been helping you with your pumpkins for weeks. Come on. You know I'm trustworthy. So, you'd like to know how to get across the Grey Doom Mountains. As you probably understood, there's a secret path over the mountains, which is just sounds secret. The Goldspur family knows where the path is, and my family knows how to get past the lethal traps the scientists stop the path being used by the enemies of the Harwest counties, or just anyone who wants to cross. I understand it's important for you to get to Epona, so I'll help you as much as I can. Thank you. Uh, the information is written up in charge of code, an old document, don't look so horrified, it's not good, okay. You'll have to ask Jill Goldspur for permission to borrow it. You see, we donated a code. How much money? It's so much uh, to read out loud. And it's a lot of it is just fluff, in my opinion. Like, it's not really... They're just grinding words. <laughs> Is it the mayor or whatever sister? You think? No, no, no! Yes, yes it is! Oh, come on. Silly horse. You're wondering if you could borrow a document from the courthouse library. It's not something we'd usually allow, but since it's you, we might be able to make an exception. Which document are you thinking about? The journalist and code, the unsold code, the used to belong to journalists and family. Are you aware that this is one of the most priceless documents we own? Totally out of the question. Oh, come on. You said you wouldn't make an exception for me. Uh, okay. I'm sorry, Ingalil, but historical documents need to be handled by trained antiques experts. It's entirely out of the question that you'd get to handle it yourself. Perhaps my useless brother would let you into the library. But, but as luck would have it, he's disappeared. That's. No, uh, I guess it's not concerning considering who it is. I asked him to sign a whole bunch of important paperwork that has to be ready by tomorrow morning at the latest. If you see him anywhere, please tell him to hurry up. Uh, okay, wait. He, he's just. He, he has disappeared, but his quest marker appeared right here? Is he hiding by the house or something? No, 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 wait. <laughs> he must be up the stairs. Oh, oh, there it is! <laughs> okay, this, uh, this was a good hiding place. He evaded me. Yo, 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 in a little, have you seen Jill? I'm trying to hide from her. Uh, she can probably see you from here. She's trying to get me to work. Ever heard of anything so awful? I have to agree with him. She wants me to fill in all these boring forms. Look, check out how lame they are. <laughs> I love them. Oh, he dropped them! Oops, looks like the wind took all those important documents. How terrible. Nothing we can do about it now. Perfect. Wanna play some video games, Ingalil? I, this guy is so funny. You want to get into the old library? Why? There's nothing cool in there. Just yawn some old books and papers. Yawn some. You have to get in there and Jill wouldn't let you? Okay, of course I'll let you, buddy. Maybe you could help me with something first, though. You will? Sweet! I, I like to hear what I have to do before all these dull swell papers. Jill's gonna be crazy angry if I don't say them. Could you fix that for me, please? I promise I'll let you into the library if you do it. You'll help me? Awesome! Here, take this sweet new pen I got. It rules. Haha. <laughs> okay. So I have to sign all these Totally amazing pen. Oh, okay. These are a lot of documents. Do I seriously? What? Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Sure. I have all day. Some something tells me I won't have to actually sign all all these. Okay. <laughs> I was starting to get a little bit worried. 
Many hours later, okay. Okay, that's, that's kind of a relief. What? You're done already? Already? And he just stood there the entire time? For three hours or something? Actually, there's something else you could do for me. Please? Sweet. You see, everyone who lives in this town has tons of opinions about what I should be doing. I try to listen as little as possible, but now I promised Joel that I'll meet the voting public face to face. It's apparently important for my image to get out of here and meet the people and I agree. Who wouldn't be happy to meet a legend like me? Well, you just hide all the time. But I haven't got time. I've got tons of important stuff to be doing, like, you know, mayor stuff. Maybe you do it for me? Can you? Oh, please. Sweet. Come back once you're done, I'll let you into the library. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can... I, I, I can do this leader thing, no problem. Oh. Trash collection here is too. Rat just last week I saw rat rumors. Oh, I, I see rats often. It was better before, you know. If Elaine Goldsburg was still mayor, everything would be fine. Burn. Okay, where's the next one? Here, here we see some. Oh, it's, it, no, it's not. Can't the city build an elevator down to the harbor? <laughs> How would that work? The trash collection here is too good. What is my cat? Maybe your cat can eat cat food. I don't know. Why haven't they demolished a burned out house on Broken Tooth Island? Oh yeah, it's a creeper ruin. I know it has your means. Do I know where Jack is? Has he disappeared again? Oh, he's gone again. Well, as you know, Jack's pretty unreliable. I don't think he meant to trick you, he just probably got bored. In any case, I was thinking about what you said about the library, and even though I can't let you in, I'd still like to help you. Here's a scanned copy. Ooh! <laughs> okay. It took her like um, five minutes to change her mind? Okay! <laughs> Great work, a little but now the hard work starts. We need to crack the Jarlison code. Unfortunately, the instructions on how to crack it have been lost. Not too complex. Uh, I'm pretty bad at math, Dorian. So if a okay, okay, you know what? Oh wait. I, I, sometimes <laughs> it really kind of stupid. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it's too hard. No, no, I don't want to help you with pumpkins. Okay, maybe I should just try and weed. No! Oh, I, that was right. It, C, B, it, uh, oh, she's asking me D. So D should be 50. Oh! <laughs> Oh, this is, uh, I think, 24. No! <laughs> this is so embarrassing, guys. But I have no patience for this in games. I'm really bad at math, naturally. Okay, so it's these 50. So, let's see. Oh, it's adding by four, isn't it? Jesus. Yeah, I should really read. <laughs> I'm beginning to understand how the code is constructed, but we have a bit to do still. Well, it just seems like math homework, Doris. Uh, so got a bit left to saw. Oh no, is it more? Oh god. If black is white and warm is cold, what is heavy? Oh, light. If one is three and two is four, what is one plus two? So it's seven. Hat and rat, ball and tall, cook and look. Oh, this is easier. 
As long as it's not math, guys. I've got it. Oh, it's the last part. Okay. This is probably the most complicated part. Dolphin, shrimp, jellyfish. What next? It must be shark. Banana, orange, apple. What's next? Uh, beer. Boggle bubble. Is something round? Sun, I guess? Container ship. <laughs> We cracked it! Oh! Okay, I wonder if I should uh, go straight to the gold spare family first. I think I'll do that. So, so the like the way to crack, go past all the traps is like school homework. Are, are they sure that's like very secure system? I, I guess. Okay guys, so I'm going to end today's video here. Uh, he I realized not a lot happened, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway as much as I enjoyed playing it. And I hope you'll stick around for the next part of my Epona video. So yeah, see you next time. Bye!